Devastating news for Martin. I can, can you give us a, just an idea of how he's handling it and what you guys are trying to do to keep his spirits up during the uh, tough time? You know, I think he's handling as as we would expect. Obviously, he's very disappointed and, uh, and he's hurting. You know, he's, he's invested a lot to get to the point that he is. And, uh, you know, obviously he was he was someone that we needed to, to have, make a huge step forward for us to be successful this season, and he's done that. Uh, so to you know to have your season end on kind of a fluke injury is uh, you know it's it really stinks for Martine and obviously it impacts our team but right now our you know our, our stomachs are upset not because of what it does to our team but uh, we feel bad for you know one of one of our family. When he heard it, I mean, he kind of just grabbed that a little bit and then headed off to the tunnel. Did you? I, I um, didn't. You know, I I said something to him about the way he defended the play. Yeah. You know, so uh, I don't think anybody thought at that time it was serious and I. I didn't see it happen. I didn't see whether it happened at the time when he, you know, when he left the floor or when he came back down to the floor. But uh, you know, he just landed on Caleb's foot in an odd way, and his knee buckled. And uh, you know, it's uh, this is his third ACL uh, surgery and rehab, so he, he knows what to expect. He uh, knows it's a long road ahead, but also understands he's young, and uh, you know, he, he knows how to rehab it. He knows the other one came back uh, better and stronger than before, and, and we feel like he can do the same with this one. When you, uh, I guess, you mentioned he's been through it before, and you know, just talking to Bailey that he's one of the hardest workers in the weight room and things like that. Do you still feel confident that, um, I guess, his best days of basketball are still ahead of him? That he can still fulfill some of the potential that he yeah, shows? Yeah, you know, he, it was the other knee that, that that he hurt two years ago, and he came back and rehabbed that, and there hasn't been any issues. Uh, you know, this was the one that was surgically repaired when he was younger. And, and still, I don't, I don't know if that surgery had anything to do with it, but it, you know, it's a, it's a fluke deal. He landed yeah. on his foot. That, you know, a lot of times the ankle will take a lot of the blow for when you land on somebody's foot. And the way his foot hit Caleb's foot, it, everything went to the knee. Uh, so, you know, I'm not sure there's anything that could have been done to prevent it. Uh, it's just a fluke deal, and it's, uh, you know, for our guys, it's, you know, they've, it's not the first time they've dealt with this. Uh, this is actually the fourth straight year we've lost a rotation player to a season-ending end injury with, uh, you know, Z twice and, and uh, Maurice last year. So uh, these guys have had to deal with it before, and, and uh, you know, we'll deal with it. You probably heard some of them were with Martine when we broke the news, and it was good that they were around him. But, you know, obviously they're, they hurt for him. They're disappointed for him because they know, uh, you know, how much this team means to him. Uh, you know, and how important he is to what we do.